Good afternoon. We're standing on Parkfield Way in the upper village area of Bolnor Village and we're here to look at number five upper stables which is a little mew style bungalow tucked away in this courtyard behind these coach house apartments but just so you know where we are literally 50 yards in that direction turn right you've got the old barn just there that's a little nursery school uh, if you turn left, you can go down into the middle village area where the village square is and the shops. Or if you follow down this road, this is, uh, goes down into Trubwick Avenue. And literally, just where that giveaway sign is just along the way, you've got a pathway going up the back, which is your shortcut through to Bolnor Road. So if you uh, wanted to walk into town or to the station, it's about three quarters of a mile distance. So it's a 15, 20 minute walk into town and down to the station. Uh, but these are rather lovely. This was all part of phase one of Bolnor Village. Uh, the property also comes to the garage. That's your garage in front of this little red car. Um, and the garages, when you've got a garage in these developments um, and it's underneath one of these coach house flats, generally your garage is leasehold. And in this case, that is true. This has got a, uh, uh, you've got a garage, but it's on a 999 year lease. And obviously you can park a car in front of it. But have a look at this, isn't this lovely? Half the world doesn't even know this little bit of Bolnor Village is here. And you can almost guess that it was an old stable yard, but this was all newly built, would you believe it, around the millennium. So there's just a handful of these little stable, well, basically little bungalows. And we're here to see number five, which is this one here. And what's quite lovely, the sun's out and it's got a west facing back garden. So it's a nice sunny afternoon. I'm here in the afternoon, so sadly the sun is over the back. Whereas in the morning, it's very cheerful around the front here. But when you stand here and look out your front door, that's quite a nice aspect, isn't it? Really nice. So come and have a look inside. Now the property um, hasn't really been touched since it was built 23 years ago. So it is in need of general updating throughout. But let me uh, show you around as we go. So lovely big entrance hall. You've got solid floors in here. So if you wanted like a, a really nice tiled floor or an oak floor, you certainly could do it. One cupboard there with the electricity bits. Another cupboard there with a hot water tank. Kitchen is at the front. So thankfully it does have a separate kitchen. And this is again, it's all the original stuff. It's, it's fine, but again, I think whoever buys it may want to make some changes. So bedroom there, um, kitchen there. Living room, nice size lounge. It's a shame when it's empty. I'd rather show you a property when it's actually got furniture in it, but have a look out the back. Here's the garden. I'll show you here while we're here. And I think it's about 33 feet wide by 23 feet deep. And that is pretty much west facing. And you're on to this, overlooking this lovely green and literally just down this terrace. At the end of the terrace is the old barn. But when you come out here, you get an idea. It's quite lovely. And everyone has their own little garden. And with uh, Bolnor Village, and like a lot of these uh, developments, it's a private estate. So it has to be managed. It has to be looked after. And in this case, I think everyone pays around 300, 350 pounds a year. Uh, our details will have the correct figure on it. So do double check with that. You've got a bathroom, obviously. One bathroom. Again, original suite. Main bedroom. This also has an ensuite shower room. But a nice size bedroom. I love these big windows. Again, overlooking the green at the front. Range of wardrobes in there and a little ensuite shower room. So an oversized shower, but all very nice with a window. And then you've got the little front bedroom, which I think was just used as a, uh, probably as a storeroom or would make a nice little office. Now it's got this great big wardrobe standing in it at the moment, which takes up quite a bit of room, but again, very practical, but it's a, it's a little double bedroom if you wanted it or a great little office for somebody. And again, overlooking the front. But there you go, that's number five upper stables. It's a two bedroom Mew style bungalow. It's in a courtyard setting. It's got a west facing garden. It has a garage and it's for sale with no one would chain. If you're interested, please contact Mansell McTaggart. And if you like our videos, please follow us on YouTube because these videos are all live way before you'll see them on Rightmove. Thanks for watching.